Hi everybody, it's it's the second week of the uh, Advent Solar Wheel Wreath, and so I thought I would make a short video to share with you again. Um, this week is the Element Fire. Last week we did Air. Um, so if you want to know more about this, if you go to alsdaughter.com and look at her blog, there's a beautiful explanation of why we are doing this together. This is the 19th year of the community doing it. This is my third year of doing it. So, um, yeah, so it's just a way for us to all be together, uh, in spirit around the world as we practice this. So, I'm not going to say a whole lot because I talked more about it last week and you can go back and watch that video if you want to, but I'm just going to go ahead and get on with the candle lighting for tonight. By this candle light, we stand for the light, which is always whole. With our prayers, we embrace the most ancient divines ones whose name is love. With our hands and our hearts joined now, stepping through the gate of change, we honor the sure and true dawning of healing, grace, and rebirth. With unfailing devotion, with all our courage from within and without, we care for the earth, her resources, and her beings. So mote it be. Many of our traditions down to the solstice may see the second candle as representing the element fire. It's aspects of element of hearth and hospitality. Thus, let us contemplate the meaning of fire and what fire offers. In its shadow aspect, our friends in Canada, Chile, Australia, Greece, Brazil, the U.S., especially Maui, and Spain can attest to the profoundly destructive power of fire. Our hearts go out to those who have lost loved ones, homes, and their livelihood because of the ravages of the wildfires of this year. And fire represents our need as humans for warmth and light, which drives the never-ending quest for fossil fuels, in turn contributing to the global climate catastrophe and multiple wars, which then in turn contributes to the unprecedented problem of wildfire. Fire's gifts, though, tonight you might acknowledge these shadows, but then turn your awareness to the gifts of fire in your life. Fire is the very essence of life, the electrochemical stream that is the life force itself. It cleanses, transforms, burns away what must be given up in order to feed the life force. Passion is often referred to as our fire, and we all experience physical desire as a flaming energy. Fire is our creativity, our welcoming hospitality. Fire feeds us and we feed fire in our lives. It is the precious gift of Prometheus, it is the sacred blessing of Bridget. It rules the tarot suit of wands. You might visualize the bonfires lit upon ancient hilltops, signaling in times of need or celebration. Think of the hearths of our ancestors, soup bubbling, children gathered round in warmth, safety when the icy winds blast outside. What's it be?